it is Newport County 2, Manchester United 4. Manchester United threw off to the fifth round of the FA Cup after, I would say, a difficult match in the second half, I'll be honest with you. Especially the fact that Manchester United were two goals up. And all of a sudden, typical United, just like you saw in the Champions League, where we was going up by two goals margin, three goals margin, and then just letting it all slip. Manchester United decided to do that again. Yes, two goals up, and then 2-2 by the second half. And then this time it was different because Manchester United ended up winning the game 4-2. You know what I have to say for today, guys, because I am annoyed. Let's address the such a big elephant in the room, which is Sir Marcus Rashford being dropped from this game because he went out and he called in sick the following day. They didn't turn up to training. The evidence is there. And the manager rightly said, although he said that he was ill, we all know Marcus Rashford has been dropped because he's being punished. Rightly so, guys. But back to the game. Manchester United. Seriously. Seriously, in a game like this, an FA Cup game, a game against Newport County, guys, where is a team that's a lower league division from us, you know? We shouldn't be struggling. We should be cruising in this game. Pilot mode, guys. We should be on pilot mode, enjoying life, winning, scoring goals, and not conceding a single goal from them. Oh, no, 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 man. I didn't do that. They made it difficult for us to enjoy today's game. An easy game it was meant to be, guys. But Manchester United made it difficult you know i would say that into this game because we started off well the first 45 minutes manchester united was good in the first half especially in the first 20 minutes we was in control we was passing the ball around we was creating chances guys yes we was in which came the first goal which was of course bruno fernandez with making it one or smashing that ball in by anthony himself anthony got an assist wow 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 anthony got an assist anthony doing brilliantly manchester united doing pretty in the interplay and creating that chances when it came to anthony anthony slipping in finding bruno fernandez for bruno fernandez to make it one nil for manchester united and it was a good start guys it was a lovely start and then kobe minor finally gets his first goal for manchester united brilliant play for manchester united as well the goals came Dallow step over after step over after after a hundred step overs Dallow finally looked up and saw kobe and pass it to Kobe, and Kobe deliciously placing it in. That goalkeeper never saw it coming. He didn't even react it. And Kobe scoring his first goal, and I was happy. We was ecstatic. We was enjoying because why one of our own, our youngsters, finally got their first goal, and it meant so much for him, and it meant so much for us. And then the goal for Morris. Morris, oh, what a beautiful goal for Morris for Newport County. Striking it, thunder a strike. From a long range. And I know it took a deflection from Martinez's top head. But by in himself, saving it like Andre Onana. I thought I saw Andre Onana in goal. Because by in conceded a goal. A silly goal to concede. Yes, I know it took a deflection. But it just made him look stupid when he conceded that goal. And it was 2-1. Half time. Thinking, okay, guys, let's do this. Let's go to second half. We we'll make it three-one or four-one. Let's destroy this team. Let's destroy this low league Newport County and take them from the port and deport them, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying? But no, Manchester United decided to concede a goal. You know, like typical United, going two 0 up, conceding a goal before half time, and then by the first two minutes of the second half, we concede a goal, two-two. And it was a beautiful goal. And it wasn't, it was a goal from Evans. And it wasn't our Evans. You would have thought, yes, it's our Johnny Evans. But maybe he scored an own goal. No, it was their Evans. They had an Evans himself, who's their top goal scorer, scoring goals. And of course, he finished the well. And look, look at that Rafael Varane looking stupid. Looking absolutely stupid, you know. Um, little skip. And then buying that as well. In goal. Again, I'm just feeling like it's Andre Onana. In goal, because that goal we conceded was just silly to make it 2-2 for Newport. And from there, we was like, you know what? I'm having a bit of bad feelings because, again, Manchester United just showing how poor they are. The lack of character from these guys as well. You know, our first team players, our strongest team, despite Marcus Rashford, we had a strong team. Casimir was playing, Kobe man, like it was an ideal first 11 with... That low short back, Martinez there, Varane, last year's defence 
with doing well as well from what they did with the clean sheets and also the Golden Glove, you would think will blow this team out of the waters. But no, 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 no. The equaliser came. It happened. And then for Manchester United, the only thing that saved was Anthony. Anthony scoring that goal. Anthony making it 3-2 for Manchester United. And 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 scoring scoring that goal. Do you know what? Yeah, it came from Luke Shaw hitting the post. We, uh, and Manchester United were doing well coming forward. Bruno Fernandez releasing Luke Shaw, and then Luke Shaw hitting the post and the deflection coming from the goal post as well. And then you got Hoyland. I mean, and you got Anthony just taking the rebound and scoring that goal with his right foot for the first time he re actually realized that anthony's got a right foot and anthony beating the goal not just someone else another human being but beating the goal and making it free too and then the fourth goal came and it was scrappy as well because hoyland i'm very honest with you I'm, I, I, if i was going i almost hate playing up front for manchester United, especially when you got mark Rashford and alejandro ganacho ganacho with an opportunity to give the ball and square it to hoyland he didn't but Hoyland got his goal because he was frustrated. Hands in the air, majority of the times thinking, oh, give me the fucking ball, man. Hurry up. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you stressing me out? But Hoyland got his eighth goal. And that goal came from all that scruffiness, getting that ball, and then the, getting that loose opportunity and taking advantage of it and making it 4-2 for Manchester United. And full time, 4-2, Manchester United getting that win. I'm pleased. I'm pleased we got the win, but look at the performance. What I've got to say is that the boys lack balls and characters at times, you know. Strong leaders there, and to, for us to concede and make it 2-2 as well for Newport to equalise, it just, just shows me this team is just not there, mentally not there. It's just not strong enough, you know. They've let a lot of us down. They've kind of embarrassed us in, in a way. Yes, we won, but they embarrassed us. They embarrassed us. We should have beaten this team 4 0. Honestly, but we didn't. Let's look at the players. Let's talk about players, guys. Because we've got Anthony today, who, who I think, bizarre thing, had a very good game, you know. One of the best games he's had so far. And, and it can probably prove that this is his level. Playing against teams like Newport. Because Premier League teams, oh, it's not his level at all, man. He can't do anything when it comes to the Premier League team. But I think he did all right. Better than right. Potentially man of the match. Kobe Mino had a good game, you know, did what he had to do, even got his goals, which is pleased for me to see. And it's very pleasing. Casemiro coming back as well, showed some good form, but a little bit exposed. Bruno, again, had a good game today, you know, I have to say. He could potentially be my, one of my man of the match and contenders. And Martinez, thank God he's back. Finding balls over the top and all that kind of stuff. Maturity. Being strong. Glad to have Martinez back. But Bayinda had one of those games where I think, mm, because he can see those two goals, he didn't, do, didn't make mistakes compared to Andre and Anna. So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit pleased with that. And Hoyland, he must be frustrated. Man, the match today, guys, has to go to... Anthony, in my opinion, you'll be fucking shocked because I'm shocked as well to give it to Anthony. A goal and an assist. That is, man, the match performance like. You know, he did all right as well, even though he was frustrating at times. But he was the most positive and creative player today, you know. Don't give the match has to go to Alejandro Granacho. May night fans, we take this game one at a time. We go to the fifth round, whether we get Nottingham or whether Nottingham are playing. I mean, not in the forest who are playing, it doesn't matter. We just have to go through because the FA Cup is the only competition I think realistically we can go and win and get a trophy because that's we ain't doing anything. We're out of the Champions League. We're out of the Carabao Cup and the Premier League is looking long for us. But it is what it is, guys. But big up to you guys for watching. Let me know who your man the match is, your donkey the match is as well, and your thoughts about the match day in the comments. This has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spies. We'll see you tomorrow at... 740 for the Senegal and Ivory Coast game. Watch along live on YouTube as well and also on Rumble and on Twitch. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms and become a member of Red United TV by clicking on the membership button. Till next time, guys.
Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace. Peace.